Hey, well, while we're on a little uh, video recording rampage, let's uh, have a look at this SPW title. Uh, it's a combined uh, two games in one, basically from the Developer Krieg simulation series, Tannenberg and Galicia. And I wanted to pick up something small out of this series because it has a, a reasonably good reputation with a lot of folks who I you know, like to game with and who I you know, read and follow. A local game is here as well. So I thought I'd try something. I'm not a huge fan or buff of World War One, and I'm not a big. Uh, so this is not gonna. This is not gonna get any table time in the next. Uh, well, probably in the next year, really, at least. Uh, so, I, but I do want to try the system out and see if there are actually some interesting maneuver style games uh, in in this World War One era. So you don't have a whole bunch or too many counters in the game. You've got a bunch of tracks and bits and pieces. And this is not really a shrink rip. I'm just call it in the house, call it what you want. You've got to track your supply, obviously, enough. That's pretty important in the whole game. Combat results table. It's got an interesting combat results uh, system and combat system that I read about a little bit. Uh, standard rules. Uh, clock in at about 16 pages, 27 sections. They're fairly well spaced and worded with a few examples here and there, so nice stuff. The maps are a, a, a matte finish and have a nice texture to them. And you're probably all familiar with the terrain, how they do the terrain on these maps, but they have, it's, they it look very geometric, but it's to give you, depending on which hex side you're approaching through, the different uh, flavors for the terrain uh, based on their interpretation of geographical maps, I guess. There's actually three or four maps in this one. Oh, no, that's right. This has spare maps, and that was the other reason why I grabbed this game. Tannenberg's an extra set of counters as well. Um, this will allow me to uh, frame it up if I want, right? This is Austria-Hungary here. I'm trying to hold this up for you. There's Russia, the far right-hand side. And then you've got the Poland-Germany area there. So that's the, that's the game in a nutshell. Here's the counter sheets when they're not punched. There's, and they're reasonable thickness and all the rest of it. And they're all well cut, pretty much. Here's the Glacier counters. And it looks like Tannenberg's not punched, but Glacier is. Here's the Glacier ones here. So there you go. So it's actually kind of a kind of a cool deal. I could actually, with the spare map, I can keep a copy punched in a folio bag, take a copy of the rules, and then we can maybe sell this at some point in the future if we don't enjoy the game. And if we do enjoy the game, then we'll keep keep it all. Just cause, right? It's always nice to have a punched copy and a, a copy that you can uh, keep in mint condition. Just because you can, right? 